Hello again everyone. Let us continue where we left off. The term classical mechanics was coined in the early 20th century to describe the system of physics begun by Isaac Newton and many contemporary 17th century natural philosophers, building upon the earlier astronomical theories of Kepler, which in turn were based on the precise observations of Tycho and the studies of terrestrial projectile motion of Galileo. Since these aspects of physics were developed long before the emergence of quantum physics and relativity, some sources exclude Einstein's theory of relativity from this category. However, a number of modern sources do include relativistic mechanics, which in their view represents classical mechanics in its most developed and most accurate form. The initial stage in the development of classical mechanics is often referred to as Newtonian mechanics, as we have already stated, and is associated with the physical concepts employed by and the mathematical methods invented by Newton himself, and others. This will be further described in the following videos. Later, more abstract and general methods were developed leading to reformulations of classical mechanics known as Lagrangian mechanics and Hamiltonian mechanics. These advances were largely made in the 18th and 19th centuries, and they extend substantially beyond Newton's work, particularly through their use of analytical mechanics. The following introduces the basic concepts of classical mechanics. For simplicity, it often models real-world objects as point particles, objects with negligible size. The motion of a point particle is characterized by a small number of parameters such as position, mass, and the forces applied to it. Each of these parameters is discussed in turn. But firstly, let's take a short break, so sit back, relax, as we head deeper into these concepts. There will surely be more, and more exciting ideas. Thank you, and see you in our next part.